I want to touch on your debut just real quick before we move on. Just, uh, the name was Sidewalks. Exactly. Yeah. Where did that name come from as far as, because I know you said your mind was everywhere, so how did you land on that? Because I wanted, I wanted, I, I knew that, excuse me, I'm sorry. I knew that, um, I knew the story of, I, I felt like there's never been, it's always been the tale of a drug dealer in the game, like, because everybody done sold drugs, right? Like, we all done sold drugs. By that drugs. point, 21, 22, <laughs> Well, I'm finished with this. So we all just sold drugs in one point in our time, right? And you know, there's a difference between a hustler and a drug dealer. Like, nigga, a hustler is a nigga that I, I can get a pound of bud and sell that off. A drug dealer to me is a dude that I wake up. This is my job. That's my profession. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm gonna do. This is how I'm gonna die, or I'm gonna go to jail. That's a drug dealer to me. So either or, we been on both sides, especially in New York. Nigga, especially like, New York. nigga, ain't, ain't if you from if you if you if you a street dude or you know street dudes. You done sold at least some bud in your life. You know what I'm saying? You done sold at least some, you know, something. You done sold clothes. You done sold something. You sold something. Something. You know what I'm saying? That slow money ain't cutting it. You, you, you know. Right. So, so I, I felt like, all right, cool. We always had the, the perspective of the hustler, but we never had the perspective of like, like the dealer, like, and, and the real club, like Spanish dude, Latino dude. And like, we always got the story of the corner. Boy on the corner or whatever it is, but we never had the poppy. So I came into this shit as poppy. Like that was my moniker. Like when you think about poppy and you from New York, you think about the dude who got it. Poppy got the white, poppy got the right, dope, that's true. poppy got the whatever. So poppy got the store. <laughs> got it. Poppy had it. You feel what I'm saying? So so Zach, I'm like, you know what? I don't know how I came up with that title, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. But it just hit it just hit with me. I was like, I never heard that before. I heard what they what they call um what they call damn what they call doctors but niggas be the cool way they be saying I'm I'm a um I'm a I'm a man they be like I'm a pharmaceutical something something exact oh oh uh, uh street exact no, street, street 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 exact or something no they be saying street I'm a street, street pharmacist, pharmacist. Street so I'm pharmacist. thinking of, I'm playing on that so I'm like street pharmacist I right, cool I didn't heard that that's cool niggas done did that okay. So I'm like sour exec. I like that sour exec. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's fire. Y'all heard that head. It is fire though. Y'all heard that head though. And then when you get in money, you start on the sidewalk. Dead even before you get to where you gotta go. Oh, kind of like the sidewalk exec because you gotta make them decisions yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a cool little play with words and shit like that. Know. But I wanted to get the perspective of the, the poppy, the Latino, you know, because you know where the cloth I'm come from. You know, my family, what I've seen all my life, that's what we were into. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were into that. We were into that life, you know what I'm saying? Of right. being those plugs, of being the poppies. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to play on that, you know what I mean? Right, so, so, with v you did the the one producer, one album thing. I think that's dope. You know, a lot of people, I see that's I was doing that lot. before they were yeah, doing I see, it. Yeah, I just wanted to say, talk your shit, because I see that's picking up right now. Shout yeah, out to v -Don. I was doing that before, um... Cause I seen that was before me. I seen Alchemist doing. Alchemist been doing that shit since forever. Right. And I'm like, you know what? I can't get out at this moment. But let me get somebody that's coming up who could be as good as out. And that's how I chose V. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Shout out to v Smoking. Yeah, but but that's you know, yeah. I was doing that. We were doing that before. Yeah, and that, and that was an amazing shit, album. That shit was fire. The debut was fire. Mm -hmm. Excuse me to my next question. If you remember. Remember when he, when he first? I don't know if he sent you the beats or y'all worked together. But we did both. We both. Yeah. What was the beat that kind of had you like mm, mm. escape with that stink face? Oh, um, damn! You know it's crazy. I gotta look at the title. Nah, I know I didn't know because I don't remember. Yeah, but I know I knew bring I know bring him out was a good one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bring him out with you, with me and Flat with zombies. That was, a, the that was a good one. That did extremely well, like numbers that was wise. Good, that was good. The video had me bugging though too. That was, was fire. Video was fire. Um, funny thing about V, I'm on the street. Funny thing about Sarah Gazette too was that before I even dropped shit for my poppies, me and V was playing on doing a whole collab shit. I'm talking about starting at 11. When I met him. I met V like 2011, 2010. He, yeah, he from out here too. I from out here, yeah. I know, I know V family. Saying like his cousin's like good friend of mine. We grew up together. So 
when V when me and V connected, it was before I even started getting popping. So when I just saw the street for my poppies and that took off, I was just laying in the crib one day. And this is what I'm saying too, when, when you was bringing up like what was going on through my mind. Like I was just so inconsistent with work too. Like I was getting money. Like I wasn't really moving. I'm like, nigga, my shit is the hottest shit in the world right now. Then you can't tell me nothing. I'm spinning all of niggas. So I was sitting up and, and, and we was just like, yo, why don't we just go back in the chamber and, and, and we do that whole side work that we be doing. That's how it came about, bro. It came about by like chance. Like I wasn't doing nothing at home one day. Yeah. And I was like, yo, you know what, man? Let me put out an album today. And that and that's the stories that make stories. Cause the shit and now if you was trying to do it, you nah, probably, it wasn't. That shit was wouldn't have probably, there was there was some beats on there that V gave me from 2011, bro. See? Four years before we even I don't know how old them beats was, but he gave me them in 2011. So it was one of those situations where it was like I'm doing it, man. Yo, I'm gonna drop an album, man. Yo, B, what's up? And then, you know, I had, I had a, you know, shot the duck down. Um, good people, good business over there. You know what I'm saying? And they, they been, they was interested in me since day one. And when I brought the idea to them, they were on board. And you know, that's how we got that pop up. Right, so we went from the debut. So now we're talking about your third album. You're about to drop this year. We still got the, the 21st day. Oh, the 21st. Okay, the 21st day. I'm gonna let you introduce the title. Yeah, yeah. The I title. mean, August 21st, um, my new album. It's gonna be called Yams Heard This. Um, Heard this. Um, anybody who know, who know me, who know my my journey, they know my relationship with ASAP Yams and how much he meant to me and how much he still means to me. And this was like my way of paying homage of course, to him, knowing that if he was still alive. Uh, even though he living through us, if he was still alive physically, I know these are to be the records that he'll be like, yo, bam, this shit's crazy, bro, bro. So this is like him up in heaven being the executive producer, him up in heaven and on it, him up in heaven and hearing it. So that's how I came up with the title, Game Turners. And how quick, you know, how did y'all meet? I somebody else you knew from young I met, I met, nah, I met Yams 2011, um, by chance, you know what I'm saying? Um, I knew somebody that knew him and he was the only Puerto Rican Dominican dude in the game at this particular time who was doing his own thing and had his blog. He had a Tumblr actually, excuse me. And this is around the time when he's cultivating what you know as ASAP. And the mutual friend that we knew always wanted us to connect. So one time Smoke was doing a record with ASAP Rocky and he needed a studio. I used to have a studio at 158 in Broadway in the Heights. So Smoke invited Rocky, and Rocky just so happened to bring Yams. So when he brought Yams, we was all in the studio just chilling, showing love to each other. And then after that day, I I, I DM Yams on Twitter like, yo man, like it was nice to meet you, bro. Like I've been wanting to get next to you. Such and such want me to get next to you. And his response was like, yo, yo Bams, I'm all in. Basically, he's like, yo Bams, like whatever you need, I've been wanting to fuck with you, like been on the way and then I was like all right after that initial conversation he pulled up to the crib again and then we was locked in bro we were used two peas in the pod and that's how that's how it was and then once 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 we locked in and became friends and you know a lot in the beginning people thought he had managed me and I, I was, thought yeah, that for a second man. he did it but it was by choice he did it because I asked him to manage me, but he was like, nah, I don't want to do that, man, because I, I appreciate our friendship more than that. And you know, a lot of times what happens is, and I, and I respect him for that, because a lot of times what happens is when you mix friendship with business, it always goes wrong. Right. And I'd rather have him as a friend in, for life than a manager for a season. Never fall now. Having a fall now, which happens a lot. Dig? So too. the fact that he said, nah, I want to play this role in y'all shit. I want to be the overseer. Let me be the dude. Send me the music. I'm going to tell you if it's hot or not. I'm going to tell you how to move. And that's what he was. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, your brother should be your man, yo. Know? And so that's, we listened to everything Yam said. So who, who are some of the, the artists that we can expect on here? Some of the producers that you got on here? All the producers, um. Or was one who was straight? Nah, nah, nah. Oh. I, I got a few of them, but all of them is like in house producers. Okay. That I've been building with for some years. Um, the only feature I got on here besides my besides my artist Tamboy Luca is Kevin Gates. Okay. Um, I'm 
dropping this. How did that come about, though? Kevin Gates? Yo, I fucked with Kevin. That shit came about. Nigga just hit me up one day saying, yo, I love you, bro. That sound like Kevin Gates. And me and my boy been two peas in a pod, bro. That's my guy, <laughs> boy. But, yo, it, 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 happened, it happened so... Man, that shit was crazy. Like, like he hit me up one day. I, I, I was seeing him randomly, like, leave comments on my page and shit. And somebody put me on. Like, yo, you see Gates be leaving comments on this shit. And I, I, I didn't follow him. I wasn't following nobody at the time. So I'm, I wasn't paying attention. So when I seen him do it, I had hit him on the DM. Like, yo, I appreciate you, bro. Like, I look up to you. Like, you got any advice? Like, you know, talking to him like that. And we started chopping it up. And... He was putting me on to so much shit and he was making me feel like while I'm looking for him for advice, he also look up to me. You know what I'm mean, saying? Kind of careers kind of mirror the and, time frame. And, and then he was like, yo, Benz, I've been on your shit. Been watching you, bro. I've been you know what I'm and he's had Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? So oh, we okay. so we connect on that kind of level okay. as well. Right. Right. And he's a very spiritual man. Which we connect on that kind of level as well. So it was just love, bro. Like it was, it's one of those things where our relationship is like, yo, we related? It's kind of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we gotta be related somehow, somehow. my G. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be brothers somehow because we just too cool. Like it's just too regular. Like it was no, it's no funny shit. It's just regular shit. I go on the phone, talk to, talk to them about Jesus for two hours. <laughs> Yeah, I see he can talk too though. We on the FaceTime, I was on the FaceTime, we talking to Jesus. We don't talk about rap, bro. We talk about God. That's how you know though. That's how you so know. that's my that's my bro. And then even the, how the record came about, he just said, yo, I'm about to send you one. Yo, big bro, I'm about to send you one, big bro. It's alright. He just sent it. And that's how I got the feature. I didn't even ask him. He said that's it for me. That's how some you, love shit. That's, about to say. that's how you know it's love. You know what I mean? Like, so you know that's my that's my boy, man. That's my brother. What's the title of that joint? Mind off you. Some real sexy for the summer. Okay. Nice vibe. But that's my brother, man. I love that man, man. Uh, man. Uh, uh. So, shit, well, with that being said, well, with this album, is there anything particularly you're trying to showcase? Like your storytelling, your your, your music making? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it was just vibe. It's, 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 it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's, 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 it, wasn't, it wasn't an album where... A, a particular message and yeah, I'm yeah. in the zone like like a south right, right, it wasn't right, that right. kind of it was just a listen man I'm gonna compile 10 fire ass songs that I know Yams will be like yo brother he just hit it it's that's about what it that, was. it's about that time too for you to you know get back out here too like, and, and also yeah, yeah it's, it's basically yeah. like and also it's basically an intro, it's a reintroduction yeah reintroduction to like cause a lot of people you know, even when I drop Sour it's like even I, I, I'm an artist, I always like to change and I like to get better in my mind and I like to just try new things. But you know, you got a lot of artists who, I mean, a lot of fans who would be like, nah, I like you for that. I like you for what I like you for. So, this album is basically showing them, all right, y'all, y'all want the old bands? I'm gonna give you that vibe, but it's new bands with it. So, blend it in there. Blend it in. You feel me? So that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't nothing, it wasn't that difficult. It ain't that difficult. Yeah, you know not, not too deep into not it. Too deep. Nah, that's what's up. We need to, yo, listen, sometimes it, it, it don't gotta be like that. And you know what's crazy is that before I was gonna drop this album, I already had an album signed and sealed called El Camino. And that album was deep. Okay. That album was deep, nigga, because El Camino is, is the road, it's the journey. I had a whole plan. Approach. Whole approach, the way I was even recording those songs, it was so deep, and them shits is like night and day if you put them together. Like it's totally different now. Different producers, that everything waves, vibes. The the, the the album I had before I was on Job Yams, I heard this, bro. It's deep, like storytelling, like it almost sounds like nice a retirement. You nice with those two? I wanted to say that thank real quick you, too. You nice with the storytelling too? Thank you. It was thank you, man. It, it, the, the El Camino album that I was going to drop, it's like it's almost like a retirement album. Bro. It's almost like a grand opening, grand closing, okay. either or. Just a different type of home. So then, so then I was like, you know what? Niggas don't want to hear that right now, man. We in Corona time, and we sometimes we, I don't want to sit down and, and break music down. I want to feel it. That's a, and that's a good. Sometimes when you know when to make that type of yeah, decision. Yeah, you know what I'm saying exactly. So I had to, I canned it like literally, like last minute. I canned the whole idea literally right when Corona started. I was seeing the climate, 
I was feeling the climate and I'm like, you know what? This album's too deep for people. They're not gonna appreciate it. It's gonna fly over people's heads. Let me give something that they want. And that's how I came up with Yams Heard This. The title I came up with now, but even the idea, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's been gone for a long time and we always used to send our music through him. So this has been a long time coming, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to get into your process real quick when it comes to the recording. What's it? Your method? Is it off the phone? Is it off the like, memorize? You read it off paper still? Paper and just off the phone. Paper days? Okay. Yeah. When I, when I want to, um, I think like a, I think like a business nigga, bro. I think like a hustler. When I want to, when I feel like I'm about to drop right ahead, I pull it on paper because then I can see it. I'm going to explain though. I put it on paper so that I could maybe one day sell the paper as like merch and like, Yo, that's how I think. If I could buy a Nas, that's some, that's some real shit. If I could get like a Big Daddy Kane, something new, bro. So that's how I feel. I, I feel like, yo, like, like imagine, imagine Busta Rhymes wrote down, put your head where my eyes can see, and he's selling the paper. Niggas a buy that. I'm copying it. It's a buy that, bro. And, and, and truthfully, depending on how deep you went to the game, you don't even have to be that major of an artist. Right. Like, it, I, yeah, you could be any kind of artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll copy it. Right. So that's, that's some real shit. So that's, so that's how I think. I think when I'm really, I, I, when I'm about to like write some real, or oh, this about to be a hit, or some real deep shit, oh, I, I want to so. put that on paper. Just in case, and I've never done it before. But I'm saying just in no, case I want to sell it. It's the foresight because that's some real shit. And that's the climate we live in. Yeah, you got everything. Why not? It's still your art, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? That's dope, though. And when I and when I want to just go in and just hang out, I get on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I get on my phone, but I always like to. Yeah, I know you from that era, so I, I figured the paper still did. Yeah, hell yeah, so, the paper is. You know, it's and you know not only just the hustling shit of just selling it. You know what I mean? But. The, the process of writing right. something down and sitting down and that that's all lovely and it's all a part of art bro you know what i'm saying it's, like it's part of it, you know what i mean it's like it's like it's like the day you see artists not using brushes brushes no more bro it's nah, still that's, not that's what i'm saying that's a whole different discussion of you know the word that's, you know what that's real shit but but you know that's how it's, it's sort of like the dj shit that's why you know people get upset with the new the new kind of way, the new though. kind of way, but like I said, we can get into that whole yeah. other. You just gotta make sure you got, you got, you know, you get with the time. Get with the time. But also, still had that in the back. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I am. You know, I got, I got my phone. Whenever I, whenever I need to write in and out, I'm quick. But when I really want to sit down, bro, and really put some, put some pain to paper, bro, I'm, I'm going to write. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, before we get out of here, I got a couple of light questions for you. You know, I do the, the hip hop shit. I'm gonna chop it up on Twitter. This will be kind of linked up and shit. So I got a, I got a crowd question. I want to know what are your top three favorite debut albums? Of course, we're talking rap, hip hop. Your top three favorite, not the all time, not the best, but debut like they first album. First album shit that spoke to you, like top three. Take your time on that. I know it's so many. Uh, off the top of my head, yeah. listen. D depending on what day you ask me, I might, I, 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 I might switch. I, I definitely know that, especially being from New York. So, so today, there's I'm no say, side, there's no concrete ones. I know, I know, there's definitely. Some oh no, there's some. Nah, there's gonna be some concrete. You know what I'm saying? Like, but today, gotcha. I'm, I'm a, number one. I'm gonna put Prodigy H and I C. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, Today's a Prodigy Rest H and I. Yeah. And I knew, I knew P. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Word. You know what's crazy? The cousin who put me on to rap grew up with Prodigy in nice, Long Island nice. before Prodigy was the Queens. Okay. Used to sleep in the same bed with him and all that. When I remember we had a, they had a show downtown when when Pete was alive. It was in a hotel, I forgot some plush hotel, and I brought my cousin and I'm like, Yo, P, you remember him? And nigga P almost lost his mind. Like, Yo, small fucking small world. world. So small yeah, so um, H and I C, I'ma say, um. Nice. Life after death. Ooh, yeah. I think it's B I G. I I I also think that. Oh no, no, that's the second joint though. Oh, she's just saying debut. The debut. Uh, it's debut. Yeah, yeah. So now I know that you think that's better than Ready to Die. Oh, hey, one hundred percent. That's another discussion. All right, debut. So we got P, uh, H and I C. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, I like Drake's this, this, this debut. What was his debut so far, though? Uh, no, that's, yeah, yeah. So was it so far, yeah, though? Thank You Later is the second one, right? Thank You Later is like the album. So far, so Gone was far like... the debut, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I would say... And I would say, um... You see, because the artists I like, my favorite artists, they, they, their following albums is better than their debuts. I got opinion. you. No, I got because some that, that, that applies to me with like two people, too. Yeah, because, you, know? you know, I mean, my favorite artist is DMX, and I feel like... Actually, you know what? Um, flesh of my flesh. No, dark and hell is hot. Dark and hell is hot. Actually, you know what? No disrespect. Let me take Drake out so far gone because that's not his, that's not an album. I'm gonna put Kiss. Kiss the game goodbye. Shout out to Kiss too, B. I'm gonna put Kiss the game goodbye. Prodigy, H and I C, and DMX is dark and hell is hot. All right, there you have it. We both think of bands as top three. And you know we are gonna get into uh, we are gonna shit Drake of choice, baby. The light or the dark. So I was, you know what I'm saying, I was on the dark side for almost my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I love that fucking dog. And then I, 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 once I removed it, I've been in the best shape of my life. I lost mad weight. I, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm a fit, like, everything about me changed. Look at my skin, um, everything. So I don't want to drink. First of all, I don't want to drink like that no more. I used to drink a lot. But I went through, I went through a stage where I was, like, sober for, like, four months, not drinking, not doing nothing, not touching anything. And, um. Now if I'm a drink, bro, it's, it's always gonna be light, bro. Like Actually, I like tequila. Love tequila. I do a Don Julio. Okay. Uh, do some champagne. I just bought a bottle of Cristal. The other day. I still do the Cristal. Don't, don't overlook the champagne. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I can't do dark no more, bro. I can't do none of that dark. So I don't do vodka. You don't do vodka? Nah, I yeah, do vodka. vodka. I, I do. T- if I'm a, I just do tequila, bro. Tequila, man. Tequila to me goes down the smoothest for me. It does, it does. I can't do Henny no more. I done did Henny so much. I never was on the way. I know niggas love Henny, though. No, you said that too. Like, I, I, I realized, I was like, damn. I'm spending so much money on Henny, showing it in videos, drinking it at shows, and if I die, they won't cut me a check. That's what I'm thinking in my head, bro. I'm like, so why am I doing that? And you know what's crazy? Few times, I knew people who worked at Henny. And I was trying to get a situation over there with them okay, too, because I was, because I that would make sense. I'm spending all this money. I'm yo, I was. If, if, if you peep, if you peep like early bodega bams, you couldn't. They, they ain't a picture you couldn't catch me without a cigarette or a henny okay. bottle. So I'm like, yo, if I die, new boy gonna cut me a check. If I die, Six. henny ain't gonna cut me no check. I'm like, yo, so I don't want to do henny no more, man. So the, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm not doing henny no more, man. Forget them niggas, man. The niggas ain't giving me no money. I don't know so, when did henny just. And force itself into our culture. I I, 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 I'm gonna tell you when. I'm gonna tell you when I enforced it on me. Okay. When I enforced it on me is when when I was coming out in 2011. Everybody was drinking 40s again. Everybody was on the beer wave. I never really was big on beer, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. So if everybody doing 40, oh English, I'm gonna do Henny. That was my mind state at, at 2012. I can't speak for everybody else, but that's when I enforced Henny on me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and then you know I'm a pop fan too, so you know that's love passion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we all our body on that. So that's why it's wilding. But um, yeah, I, I I I I do I do like like the Don Julio. If I'm gonna do, you know, do some, I don't wanna do dark wine, bro. I do white line, white wine, man. Pinot Grigio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Grigio. Cause the dark the dog got too much sugar. Shit, shit, say sugary as hell. Sugary, you know what I'm saying? That's too much sugar, too many hell. calories, too many carbs. Yeah, it's a stage you gotta, I gotta worry about shit like that. Yeah, nah, man. Gotta, and when you get older, I gotta worry about shit like say that. Say, I'm 35, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, I can't believe I'm 35, bro. It's time so ticking, B. It's so time ticking. But, uh, yeah, man. So, thank y'all for tuning in. We're on deck with Demi. I'm your host, Demi D. Mr. Everywhere. You never there. We in Harlem with my guy. Go dig the Bams, man. Check out that new album. You yeah, we heard know. this. Yeah, we heard this. this. August 21st, man. Yeah, Support, yeah. show love. It costs nothing to show love, man. Follow them on Twitter. Follow them on Twitter to give me two lines. Bodega Bams on Twitter. Bodega Bams on Instagram. B A M Z. You know what I'm saying? Show love. I don't bite. Say hi. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We're going to keep on climbing. We're going to keep on killing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there living their life, staying safe. safe. Much success to y'all. One love to y'all. Appreciate life. We only got one life to live, man. God bless everybody, man. Hip hop salute, man. You're ready.